I don't know if revenge is a good reason to run a race, but that was my primary motivation for this one. Um, a week ago, we got an email reminder at work that it was um, the final call basically to sign up for this 5K that's happening tomorrow um, in Mason, Michigan. It's called the Mason State Bank 5K. Um, I ran it last year and there were two big things that happened that made me want uh, to take another shot at it. Um, the first thing was that week was when I first noticed my runner's knee starting to act up and it eventually turned into hamstring tendonitis that kept me out for like four months. Um, the other thing was I just ran a really terrible race. I went out with the front runners way too hard. I think I looked at my watch and I was running like 5.15 pace, um, which was a lot faster than I was capable of, especially at that time. And um, just, I mean, just died basically. Um, each race, each uh, mile split was like 15 seconds uh, per mile slower than the last. Um, so I had to kind of let that sit and fester as I was injured and just think about that was the last race I ran and how terrible it was and how stupid of a mistake it was, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, I really kind of was like, man, I'd really like to do it right this time. Um, but uh, the sort of bad news is, speaking of injuries, um, this last week or so I've noticed the sides of, outside of both sides of my knees um, have been feeling a little like tight or stiff. Not really like an acute injury or anything, not really sore to the touch, but just kind of like, ooh, that, you know, they just feel like worn out, like, uh, you know, not really strong. And it just dawned on me today, actually, I was thinking about it. Um, I had switched shoes like starting two weeks ago or so, maybe three weeks ago. Um, I had been wearing the same model um, for like the prior, I don't know, four or five months. Um, I had a couple different pairs of, uh, of the same model of shoe that were um, four millimeter drops. And the new ones I'm wearing now are nine millimeter drops. Um, that I had sitting around since last year, actually. I got them over a year ago, um, but they were, I had never worn them for training. And um, so that's the only thing I can think of really that would have changed, that would, that would have caused this, other than just maybe overtraining in general, but I don't think I've been doing too bad at that. So um, I'm gonna kind of play it by ear, uh, sleep tonight, see how my legs feel in the morning, and you know, make a call then. It's definitely, I mean, it's just a 5K. Um, my real goal is the marathon. So, if you know there's any question, I'm probably not. I'm gonna probably pull out and decide not to run it and let my legs heal up a little bit more, um, and uh, hopefully get back to it. Um, so I will report back either way if I decide to run or not. Um, let you guys know what happened, and uh, feel free to subscribe if you want uh, to check out more of these videos. I plan to keep doing them for each race and maybe do shoe reviews once in a while um, and maybe training tips, uh, anything like that. So um, thanks for watching and I will talk to you later.